Today we are at Xavier Hufkin's gallery in Brussels. My name is Katie Hessel and we're here to see Alice Neal seeing who we are. This exhibition spans from the 30s right through to the 80s and it's a portrait of people as much as it is of Alice Neal's life. What's incredible about this exhibition is we begin with two portraits. So we have Olivia, her granddaughter at five months old, and on the right we have Edward Weiss. And these are paintings of life. They're created just over a decade apart. And Olivia is full of life. The painting is so filled in, which is so unusual, I think, in Alice Neal's painting. So often we see these sparse backgrounds, just the faint blue line that just slowly carries around it. But in Olivia, she is full of life. She, her eyes are so piercing, they catch us in the moment. She seems so alive, so ready. She's got her whole life in front of her. And then we look at Edward Weiss and he's had his life. Although it's still continuing, he's reflecting in a completely different way. And there is less paint on the background of the work. And for me, that symbolizes this idea of frailty but it's not a haunting or morbid thing. It's a, it's a sort of reflecting thing. And Alice Neal was also, you know, she was in her 60s and 70s at this point, and she knew how that felt. We meet her in 1937 with a portrait of Sheila. Sheila was the daughter of Alice's former lover. In 1937, Alice Neal was 37 years old. And at this time, she had already endured so much. She had lived through the Great Depression. She had suffered a nervous breakdown in her 20s. She had lost a daughter to death, and she'd lost another daughter to a family who lived in Cuba. So this is a really poignant time in her life. And she paints Sheila with empathy, but for me, there is a sort of starkness and a woodenness to this painting. She looks like a baby, but in a way, her facial features feel adults. They feel sort of already formulated, not like a baby, not like Olivia, who we meet, who is full of innocence and full of life and full of zest. In Sheila, she almost looks like a doll. And it's interesting to think what was maybe going on in Alice Neal's psyche at that moment. It's a totally fascinating exploration into life at that time. You know, this was 1937. She was still working downtown at this point. And then she moved to Spanish Harlem in 38. And I think that's really where she found her community. And she painted everyone from all walks of life. You know, painting for Alice Neal, it gave her freedom. It gave her the freedom to capture people for who they were. And this incredible portrait of America, how it was. Two of my favourite portraits, however, though, are Sam and David from 1962 and Armin Anderson. And they're both from this very sort of particular age where abstract expressionism has totally erupted. It's how she sort of gives us a hint about what time it might be in the world. So, for example, in the Armin Anderson portrait, we meet him, he's in the sort of forefront, we meet him, he's smoking a pipe, his glare is very direct, but in the background, it's almost as though it becomes abstract expressionist. And similarly, we find this in Sam and David as well. Sam and David is such an extraordinary portrait. Not only is it so visually arresting, it almost reminds me of Munch with its expression, with these curves that just go all around it. It's like we kind of get completely tied up in this tidal wave of paint. It just completely overcomes us. And the stripes and the patterns that which Neil is so fantastic at doing. Alice Neal was a self-proclaimed collector of souls. She said that one of the reasons why she painted was to catch life in the moment. And she did just that. You know, we meet people like Richard, her son, when he's at the sort of cusp of adolescence. We meet Olivia, her granddaughter, when she's only five months old. And then we see her again when she's age 16 with her new boyfriend. And to sort of catch how Alice Neal recorded people at different points in their life is such a mesmeric experience. She puts her own experience into these people's lives. She's been that teenager falling in love. She's been that person on the cusp of adolescence. She's been that person in their 60s and their 70s. It's about aging. It's about inhabiting a body and what that feels like. She has collated years worth of life experience into the canvas. 
This is a beautiful portrait in a way of age, but also Alice Neal figuring out what life is and growing up.